Tyson Fury already talking about it would be ideal to have one more fight before the Deontay Wilder fight later this year. I don't like the sound of this, and I'm going to tell you why. What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Sports TV, and I am back with another video. As I just said, Tyson Fury has come out and stated that I would love, that he would love to have one more fight. It would be ideal, but this isn't an ideal world. And a lot of people, even before people realized how serious this shit was and that the fight is official, working on the final details of the location and the date. But everybody, somebody interviewed Wilder and asked him, you worried about him pulling out? He said, no, no, I ain't worried. You know, this is a big fight for uh, Fury. And this is a chance to become a champion again. But everybody know, everybody know that Tyson Fury is a character. He can be a loose cannon. He can be very unpredictable and untrustworthy. We know after he defeated Vladimir Klitschko back in 2015 to take those titles and become the heavyweight champion of the world, they were scheduled to face each other in a rematch. But that didn't happen because... Tyson Fury, not once, but twice if I'm not mistaken, pulled out of the fight. Um, he cited mental health issues, personal issues, and, you know, the fight with the rematch was scrapped. That led to him being stripped of his WBA, IBF, and WBO heavyweight titles. Fast forward three years later, and he has the opportunity to face Deontay Wilder for the WBC heavyweight title. Deontay Wilder was in Belfast, Ireland this weekend to start up the promotion and hype for the fight. He got in the ring after Fury was announced the unanimous decision victor over Francesco Pineda. Both guys were going back and forth. Tyson Fury said, I'll knock you. I'm going to knock you out. Boom. But now, a couple days later, everything has calmed down. Maybe realization is kicking in that... He has a date with the Bronze Bomber, you know, um, and maybe he's unsure. Maybe he's not confident. Maybe he feels he needs just one more fight to knock off even more rust and to knock off even more weight. But when he opened his mouth after the failed negotiation between Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder, He's been on record saying that both of these guys are bums. He'll knock up, he'll knock them both spark out, and that if Deontay Wilder and his team send a contract, he will accept. Well, they sent the contract. Fifty-fifty agreement was reached by your side, by their side, and now you're talking about an ideal situation of having one more fight, one more fight. But you could have stated that from the get-go. Now it's gonna give everybody pause. For concern, calls for concern. They're going to have them pausing like, oh, 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 well, can't get too excited. It's very already talking that bullshit. Is he finding these built-in excuses already saying, well, if he gets knocked out, oh, man, I just needed one more fight and I would have been ready. The, the rest would have been completely knocked off, you know. And I don't like this at all. I simply do not like it at all because you can't go out there talking all that shit, then... When it's time to put your name on a dotted line and or after the, your name has been put on a dotted line, you start to have these reservations, second guessing yourself, these double thoughts about, wow, am I really, really, am I really ready for what I'm going to be facing later this year? And he had an ample opportunity, more than a few chances to tell Frank Warren, his promoter, Frank, I want that fight bad as hell. Can we push it for next year? But no, you know, he wanted the fight for this year, just like Wilder. So the fight is going to happen. I hope, I genuinely hope that once everything is signed, sealed, and delivered, and everything is officially announced, once training camps get underway, that neither guy suffers an injury, and that Tyson Fury doesn't pull out. He doesn't pull out. He needs to get himself mentally, physically, and emotionally ready for what's going to be his most difficult training camp and most important training camp in his career. 
uh, you know, at this point in his career, of course, the fight with Vladimir Klitschko was the the most important because that was for all three. Well, it was for three to four belts in a lineal title. So this would be the second most important training camp for him. And if he's already having some doubts, already unsure, having regrets about you know agreeing to this fight, then that's not gonna bode well for him because he knows now he's backed into a corner. If he pulls out of this fight, he will probably never, ever get a title shot again. Not like this. He's going to have to become somebody's mandatory. As simple as that. Because now people are going to see, oh, he did it with fucking Vladimir Klitschko twice. You know, um, now he's doing it with Deontay Wilder. Anthony Joshua, they ain't going to fuck with him. They don't like him as it is. They ain't going to fuck with him. And Deontay Wilder going to be disappointed and angry. He ain't going to fuck with him. So, Fury... You need to make whatever piece it is you need to make. You need to compose yourself if you're feeling anxious or nervous or a little unsure and do what you're going to do. I don't think he's scared of Wilder at all. But now that, like I said, now that the shit is time to go, lights are on and everybody's looking at you. Your promoter, Frank Warren, has come out and stated the fight is on. Showtime says the fight is on. BT, fight is on. Everybody in the boxing world, around the world, saying the fight is on, knows the fight is on. It's time for you to embrace this challenge, get your ass into training, and go to work. Simple as that. I do not want to hear um, these excuses or these second guesses because you had a chance to you know, tell them, hey, I want to fight in 2019. But you did. Leave your comments in the comment section down below giving me your thoughts on this. Do you actually think that Wilder Fury will go through once it's signed? Or do you think that Tyson Fury will pull out due to an injury, personal issue, or whatever it may be? Let me know. Also, like this video. And if you like the content throughout the channel, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell button to be notified every time I upload content. Shout out to everybody in the movement that is moving with us. Be sure to check out 3kingsboxing.com for your latest and greatest updated, unfiltered, and unbiased boxing news reported the way it should be. Shout out to the homies, CJ from the Boxing Clinic and more, Cali from the Cali Enigma Show, and the rest of everybody um, that's doing their thing, the LDBC, and everybody in between. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.